so as you may know, Call of Duty in the past week was purchased by Microsoft for an insane $69 billion, and along with that we've had some leaks to Bloomberg over the future of Call of Duty and Warzone. These leaks had some exciting news in them, as well as some good and, well, quite frankly bad news for console players on Warzone regarding an FOV slider. The big news that concerns everyone who plays Call of Duty and Warzone is that Modern Warfare 2 is still expected to be released in October of this year, followed by a new iteration of Warzone, i.e. Warzone 2, in 2023. And this is where things get interesting. According to Tom Henderson, a renowned multi-game leaker, who by the way is basically right 100% of the time, tweeted that this so-called Warzone 2 will be exclusively available to next-gen consoles. So we're talking the Xbox Series X and S, the PS5, and of course it'll still be available on PC. What this means is, Warzone will be completely updated, and on this Warzone 2.0 version, if you want to call it that, there will be no previous iterations of any Call of Duties. So it's likely we won't have this big mixing pot of Call of Duties on Warzone like we have now with Modern Warfare, Cold War, and Vanguard. We'll have this exclusive Modern Warfare 2 Warzone version that will probably incorporate future Call of Duties on it as well. With a brand new Warzone that's built for updated hardware, it's highly likely then that we will finally see the Field of View or FOV slider added to consoles. Previously, they've stated that performance issues with the main reason that an FOV slider hasn't been added to consoles so far, although a previous video of mine kind of debunked this to a large extent. But anyway, this barrier that they see of not adding an FOV slider to consoles will no longer be applicable. So yeah, that's the good and bad news. It's highly likely that the FOV slider is coming, but it's likely that it's going to be in over a year's time. For fans of the current Warzone world and whatever it will become over the next year or so, don't worry about too much change. The belief is that the current version of Warzone, or Warzone 1, will still be available to last-gen consoles and anyone else that wants to play on it. After this period of Modern Warfare 2 being released and then Warzone 2, Call of Duty have already set out plans to release another title in 2023, and that's going to be by Treyarch, but then after that, no one really knows. The rumours are that they'll stop doing this yearly release of Call of Duty titles, and they'll maybe switch it up to a two or maybe three year cycle instead. That way they can put more focus on those titles and get them perfect for release, as well as obviously focusing on Warzone, as that's kind of the main Call of Duty push right now. However, of course, these remain rumours at the moment. No one quite knows what's going to happen. I personally can't wait for Modern Warfare 2, and to see where Microsoft takes Call of Duty and Warzone in general. Let me know what you think down in the comments, give the video a like if you've got a second, and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya!